So I added the list of things that I want to get clothing and accessory wise for 2020. And I personally usually shop secondhand slash thrifting while in London. So I thought I would take you along with me and show you some of my favorite places to go secondhand shopping and vintage shopping. So some of the UK's biggest charities have what's called charity shops. And what they do is they set up these shops on the high street of like a bunch of towns and cities around the UK. And in these shops, they sell items that people have donated, mostly clothes, but also sometimes homeware and accessories. So when you purchase something from one of these charity shops, you're getting something secondhand that somebody's donated, and then the charity gets that money to use as like a donation. I have found some very nice things in charity shops in the last couple of years, but also you're gonna see in this video. Then of course, London has vintage shops. So these are shops that sell things that are technically secondhand but usually the difference is that they're supposed to be from quite a long time ago or they have buyers that curate a really good selection of items typically that are in styles that are like more trendy vintage shops in london don't usually carry a ton of things that are personally my style because i kind of like Things are a little bit more classic and form-fitting. But that being said, I have found some really good things in some vintage shops as well. Oh, and I should probably tell you what's on my list. Okay, so a leather jacket. I have been searching for a secondhand leather jacket for a couple of years now, but because I have very long, lanky arms and I'm very tall, I struggle to find anything that has sleeves that are long enough and also that has the regular bodice, whatever it's called, that's long enough. A tan pea coat. Okay, so I'm seeing like loads of people that have these really beautiful tan pea coats that are like heavier, so they're good for the winter. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for something like that. A small bag, so something that's like red or black because the bag that I usually use now is kind of shot, so I need a new one. I need a large laptop bag. The one that I have is also kind of ruined. I'm also looking for cozy jumpers. So I just got a really nice pair of faux leather leggings from Wolf and Badger. So it means they're made ethically and sustainably. I love that shop. But I need some longer tops and some longer sweaters or what we call jumpers in the UK that are covering, they go a little bit longer so that like they're okay to wear with leggings. So looking for that as well. And anytime that I go secondhand shopping, I always just keep an eye out for anything that looks good to me because a gem is a gem. And if it's there that day, it's not there the next day. So even if I don't specifically need it right now, I usually pick it up if it's something that fits well and I really like. Okay, so I always start my secondhand shopping journey in Notting Hill. And that's because a lot of the charity shops send their best, most high-end items to Notting Hill because the area is one of the richest in the country. And also I think just because people are dropping off like really, really nice things, the people in Notting Hill can afford to pay secondhand items that are like extravagantly priced. I personally have walked out so well around this area. I have gotten this beautiful pair of LK Bennett suede knee-high boots. You might have seen them in a couple of my videos. This like brown pea coat that I wear all the time in my videos and in my pictures. A couple of cashmere jumpers. Oh, I've done so well. So I usually always leave this area with at least one thing. But as anyone knows who does secondhand shopping, you might spend an entire day shopping and leave with absolutely nothing. But that's part of the fun. Okay, so when I head to Notting Hill, I usually first go to Mary's Living and Giving shop for Save the Children. This shop is new. I don't usually do very well in here, but I got a really nice beach cover up from St. Bart's of Calypso, I think the brand is once. So I pop in just because it's right on Westbourne Grove and it's easy to go to. Just FYI, I couldn't actually film inside any of the shops. Obviously that's like kind of weird if I pull out a camera and start filming people, but I will show you some of the pieces that I tried on while I was there. So I thought I got very lucky. I found this really beautiful faux I think faux leather um, jacket that was like fur lined or wool lined and it was so nice. But there was just a couple bits and bobs that didn't work out well. It was just a little bit too short for me. I also tried on a Zara jumper and it was only five pounds. I kind of just randomly found it in a bin somewhere in the shop. Actually that fit really well. It was long enough to wear with leather trousers. So I ended up grabbing that. 
Then I usually head down to the Oxfam on Westbourne Grove. Holy moly, this shop is small, but I always do really well here. I every time go into the dressing room with like 15 things and there's only one dressing room. So I'm sure people are like, what the heck is going on in there? But I just always find really, really good stuff. Okay, so I started with this green jacket that fit really well, but I just really wasn't sure what I was gonna wear with it. So I ended up not going with it. Then this dark blue shirt is in this style that I really like wearing of like these like silky blouse kind of things. And it was definitely long enough to wear with my leather leggings, but it was just like too baggy. So that was a no too. Then I tried on these two like more see-through tops. And when I looked back at this footage, just wish I bought them. I think I was just worried they were a little bit too short, but actually they look so cute on camera. Damn it, they won't be there anymore because they're so cute. So I'm sure somebody snapped them up. I actually didn't do very well at this shop. Tried on a bunch of stuff and didn't find anything that I actually wanted. So time to move on. Usually the shop I go to next is just off of Portobello Road. It is a Farrah charity shop. They do this shop so well, it is like, so organized, beautifully curated. Everything is by color. They have size tags on the hangers and they put like the nicest, more high-end stuff hung up a little bit higher. So you can actually just like scan and see, ooh, I like that BCBG dress. Let me try that on. I usually end up doing okay in here. It's a little hit or miss sometimes. It just depends. I went through the shop and actually picked up a lot of things that I wanted to try on. I started off with this really cute Sandro dress, which is not really my style, but it was just very like Blair Waldorf-esque. I got drawn to it, so I did try it on. However, it was too short. And as somebody who is five feet, eight inches tall, this happens to me a lot. So you might see a theme coming. Then I tried on this beautiful gray paneled slash leather dress. I can't really, I don't know how to describe it. So nice, but again, it was too short, so I couldn't get it. And then there was this another beautiful black leather paneled dress that I thought would be so cute for like speaking engagements and wintry things. And it was too big, it was too wide, so I couldn't get that one. And finally, remember that I said that a tan pea coat was on my list. So right before I went into the dressing room, I found this beautifully made heavy tan pea coat. And I was like, oh my God, I have to try this on. It must have been for, from some really high end designer. I hadn't heard of them, but it was 120 pounds. So surely it was like something very nice. Why wouldn't somebody just sell that? sell that on like eBay or something. Anyway, rich people. So that was the last thing I tried on. I had been so excited about it and it was long and it was so heavy, but I put it on and I don't know, I think because it had panels underneath it and a zipper and stuff, when I put it on, it just seems like too bulky and I wasn't in love with it. So I very sadly had to put it back on the rack. <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted it to work. I wanted it to work. Right, so that was three shops down in Notting Hill. And sadly, the only thing on my list that I have come away with, or in general, is one comfy sweater. So the next place that I went was Shortage. So Shoreditch is great for vintage shopping, especially on the weekends, they have these pop-up vintage markets. But even if you go and it's not a weekend, actually that's gonna be great because it's not gonna be as crowded and there's loads of vintage shops. So I started at Beyond Retro. And Beyond Retro, we actually have filmed in there before and it's their part of my vintage shops to visit video. So I will put some clips from that video over this so you can see the inside of it. Beyond Retro not only has secondhand vintage things, but they also take old fabric and they recycle it and they make brand new items out of that fabric. I've actually gotten a couple of skirts that they've done like reclaimed like that. And I found out that they actually are doing that with leather jackets now. So they're taking old leather and recycling it and making brand new jackets with it. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be the place where I get a leather jacket. But sadly, I tried on a bunch and just none of them were a good fit. I think if you've ever tried to buy a leather jacket, you know that it has to be the perfect fit. Some of them had like too many zippers and things. The shoulders were a little bit too broad and it just wasn't, it just wasn't what I was looking for. So I tried a bunch on and sadly none of them worked. And like I said, the vintagey style is not really my style. So I don't always do well in these shops, 
but I always like to try just in case. Afterwards, I went to Rocket, which is a very similar shop to Beyond Retro. They do the same thing where they upcycle um, old fabrics. And it's again, very vintagey, very like trendy. I guess it's like 80s, 90s wear. So I didn't really find anything in there as well. My final stop whenever I go shopping around Shoreditch for vintage and secondhand is always Attica. And Attica is the largest vintage store in Europe because it has two floors. And again, I put some shots in here because we did include them in our vintage shops to visit video. They have such a big selection. Also, everything's really organized and neat. So um, you're not like rummaging through tons of stuff. Everything's quite curated. Really good place for jeans. They have tons and tons and tons of vintage jeans. Their jacket selection is really good and they do a lot of really nice skirts too. So I went in, I did some searching, didn't really find anything that I loved and not really anything enough to try on. This was like the end of the day I'd spent most of the day shopping already and I honestly I was feeling kind of like discouraged because I'd only picked up one thing after a whole day of shopping which those of you who have gone secondhand shopping before you know the struggle of that. So I decided to end it for the day and saved the final area that I wanted to go to for the next day. So the last area that I went to the next day is called Northcote Road, and this is located in Battersea. And this road just has tons of charity shops on it, some of which are really good. So I'll show you the ones that are my favorite that I always do really well in. The first shop was Afara, and this specific shop always has tons of really good dresses. You can even get like evening dresses and dresses for weddings and big events and things like that. I've done really well with dresses there. So I went in and I did actually pick up a lot of things to try on. So I was feeling quite optimistic compared to the day previously when all I got was one Zara jumper. So I first tried on these white trousers that were had blue stripes on them and I really liked them. The only annoying thing is that I realized when I got home later that day after doing all the shopping that I totally forgot to buy them. So you will not see them at the end of this video. I also found a pair of half leather leggings. So I know I already got a pair of leather leggings. I did. However, it's very difficult to find leather leggings that are either secondhand or made ethically. I had to try these ones on because they looked like they were going to fit and they were quite different because the back half of the leggings was like regular, I guess, cotton. And then the front half was the, the faux leather bit. And they were Club Monaco and they were only seven pound 50. So I tried them on and they fit. Oh my God, I was so happy. I did get them. I've been wearing them a lot, actually. I also tried on three jackets. Two of them were leather and one of them was leopard print fur. The two leather ones, they just didn't really suit. Like the fit was, wasn't exactly what I wanted. One of them was a little bit too short. And the other one, I wasn't super crazy about the collar either. And then the leopard jacket, it was just, I don't know, it just felt like it was like quite overwhelming and I don't really know how to wear um, jackets like that. So I decided since I didn't love it, love it, love it, I was going to leave it. However, the star of the show was the Karen Millen dress that I picked up. Oh my God. This Karen Millen dress was only 26 pounds, which before they went bankrupt, that dress would have been very expensive. It wasn't included in my list, but I've been looking for a dress that would be good for winter. So something with a little bit of a longer sleeve, but it's just made so beautifully. And oh my God, I tried it on and I loved it. And I was just so excited to buy it. And I left the shop being so happy that I picked up that dress and that I had found that gem. And it made that whole day before where I didn't really get anything worth it. Cause I was just, so happy. So next up was a Royal Trinity Hospice charity shop. They always curate their items really, really well. They're only set up in higher end areas, so they always have really good designery things. So the first one I went in was on the North Coat Road. I usually do very well in this place. I picked up a really great pair of like summery brown strappy heeled sandals this summer, plus a bunch of other things along the way. Unfortunately, this time, there wasn't even anything I wanted to try on, so I didn't even film anything for you to see that I tried on. So that was a bust. And then I went to another Royal Trinity Hospice charity shop. This one is on Lavender Hill. Now I've been to this one a million times. I used to go like almost every single week to see everything they got in for new because I swear it's like somebody that has my style and that wears my size lives 
right around that one and drops off stuff all the time. And then I go in and I buy it because I've done so well. I've gotten a theory dress there. Um, I've gotten multiple Reese dresses that I've worn for speaking engagements and um, other types of different events for work and for fun. I almost every time walk out of there with at least one thing that I really am so excited about. I tried on this blue jumper. I wasn't super crazy about the color. I'm not a huge like big color person. I also tried on this really cute tan ish whitish blouse but I, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit longer so I could wear it with the leather leggings but it wasn't quite long enough so I didn't end up going with that. But finally, I tried on a beautiful summery Zara dress, but it has sleeves, so it's gonna be good for those times where you kinda wanna be covered up a little bit more, but it's still like quite summery, and I wanna be nice and flowy and have a little bit of a leg slit. And yeah, I tried it on, and I was like, oh, I just feel so good in this. So let's run down the things that I did get from my list and that I didn't. So what I did get, the only thing that I did get from my list was one cozy jumper, that blue one from Notting, one of the shops in Notting Hill. Unfortunately, that's it. Things I didn't get, literally everything else that I talked about on the list. But the things that I did get that I didn't plan for were two gorgeous dresses, one from Zara, one from Karen Millen. Oh, that dress, I'm just so happy. I wanna wear it somewhere right now. A pair of faux leather leggings from Club Monaco. And as mentioned, that. Zara jumper. This is the thing though about vintage and secondhand shopping. If you've ever done it before, you know, you might have a day where you find pretty much nothing or you might have a day where you absolutely kill it and find a ton of stuff. But I think personally that when I do actually find those gems that I really love, I appreciate them so much more because I didn't just pop into an H&M and find something on the rack and in 10 minutes be in and out and be good to go. I searched really hard for it and I found something out of a pile of stuff that might otherwise have gone to waste. I also got to get it for a great deal. I mean, 26 pounds for a Karen Millen dress. You cannot beat that, it's fantastic. If you want some more tips for where to go shopping when you're in London, then click on the box that's popping up below me. That is my playlist of where to go shopping in London videos. So you can get lots of ideas for where you can go buy new and secondhand things.